so I am currently a bit sick. Um, I've got bronchitis. Bronchitis or Zapalenia Shelly, if you want to know the Polish name. And I'm at home, but I actually don't feel like doing a lot of painting or drawing. Um, and since I have quite a lot of time on my hands, excuse me for this breathing, but it's actually quite hard to talk. Uh, I've got a very shallow breath and I strap, or maybe I should have left it a video for another time, but let's crack on. I will stop talking in a minute. So since I have quite a lot of time on my hands, it's uh, actually, I spend it online looking at art materials and thinking what else can I buy <laughs> or what else do I need. I wanted to quickly swatch my Roman Schmal palette because I want to order some colors from them and I went with this I've got this leaflet and these are all the colors that they currently have on offer so I've marked with the red pencil the colors that I actually currently own and the ones in the grey pencils are the colours that I would like to purchase. But first, I'm going to quickly swatch all my Rommel Schmal colours so that I have them for future reference. So this is... When I was buying my first Roman Schmal color. Sorry, I'm just concentrating. Then. When I was buying my first Roman Schmal watercolor, I actually couldn't find a lot of swatches online. I searched on YouTube and it's, there's not that many. So I think maybe this will come in useful for someone. Okay. So this is my da -da -da dirty palette. Let's just do it quickly. So my first one. Three zero four Aquarius Yellow. I'm just gonna do them in the order that I have them in my actual palette. Um, so maybe two a little bit too much. This is three one zero. Quinacridon gold. Next one. I like this. This is a really nice. I think cool red. This is three one nine. Pearl Scarlet. This three to three Aquarius red. I have my leaflet open on the side, and that's where I take the numbers from. So 
Hell next. I actually love this color. Nice. Oh no. This is three, three, two, magenta. This one is three, three, four, Lunar Violet. I need to put them both on and then I will know which one is which. are like a big mystery <laughs> two two five phthalo blue and it is a red shade this one is two one nine prussian blue prussian or prussian blue Okay, next is, doesn't matter, so this is 408 Cobalt Teal. Again, a really lovely color. This is three three eight. Halo turquoise. Next. I like this dark green. I think it's really, really handsome. <laughs> this one is three four six. Aquarius green. This is two five two sub green light. Next, this is another color that I really, really like. It's like this really nice, cool brown. Well, at least I think this is cool. And this is... Uh, 130 Cypress Burn Amber Deep. This is such a rich brown, like a reddish brown. It's nice. And this is 239 Caput Mortum. Next. I like this color, but the only issue I have with it it dries so bad this one and it's so hard to re-wet it 
but it's actually a really nice, really nice sienna color. So it needs a lot of water. quite transparent this one but I think burnt sienna generally is and like I've got acrylic burnt sienna as well and it's a very transparent color so this is 250 burnt sienna monte Amiata. the hard color so here it is, very nice, I like it, I wish it wasn't that hard and difficult to wet. And this is number 107, Venetian Yellow Earth. This is the first ever color by this company that I bought and this is Shibish's Grey. I love this color. It's got this violet undertone and I absolutely love it. Granulates really nicely as well. So this is 401. Shit, this is grey. <coughs> Another one of my favourites, all time favourites, paint grey. I love paint grey. And this is 243 paint grey. I love paints grey in acrylics, in watercolours, in... <laughs> I love it as a colour journey. Let me do this now. So, I swatched them in the other video, but let's just do it again for the sake of this one. Also, this palette is annoying me. The last row doesn't really want to sit still. The, those paints keep falling on off the... I don't know places. So this is two to zero indigo hue. Next, this is two five three Aquarius Grey. Next one here is I like this color a lot. I've not used it that much though since I got it. This is two one two Naples yellow. reddish and the last one another one of my favorite colors is this that was from the recent haul as well and this is number 201 buff titanium Okay, so these are the colors. This is what I have. And there are some colors here that I want to order. So, yes, so these are my current colors. I'm going to go and order the other ones. And then I will come back and we can swatch them again. I probably didn't do it um, in the right way. I should have left space 
for the additional colors but hey ho I think I'm what I might do I'm just gonna add a flap here and continue so that I'm on the same page I don't want to move to another page because it just wouldn't make any sense so I'll see you when my Jackson parcels arrive okay so it is a new day and my Jackson's parcel is here I should have brought my cutting tool but I forgot I got so excited about this oh yes I might have ordered this set of pencils which I'm going to swatch in another video I am so excited about them Okay, so I've ordered the watercolor. I've ordered the watercolors that I marked on my little leaflet yesterday. They are here. Here they are. Oh, where is this? Our Packaging peanut that had a compostable. Oh, so this is good. I never knew that. Jackson's, well done. Our packaging peanuts are 100% compostable. These guys, they are made from sustainable starch based raw materials using a low energy manufacturing process. They are neutral and non toxic and break down in home composting. They're also completely water soluble, so you can dissolve them in water and put them down the sink. Oh my days, this is actually amazing. Well done, Jacksons. Okay, so back to my colors. Yeah, what a lovely color. So that's that. Oh, I like it a lot. So this is two zero three. Panza yellow light. This is such a nice pinkish red. I love this color. This is gorgeous. Wow, look at that. I did not expect that, to be honest. I mean, I thought it's going to be nice, but I didn't think it's going to be this nice. So this is 329 Chevy. Win red. I've also realized um, after ordering my paint yesterday that I won't have enough space in my current palette, so I've ordered a palette from Amazon and that is arriving today. Oh, I think I contaminated this a little bit. So when does when that does come, I'm then going to tr transfer those pans into that palette. Okay, so I think I have a similar color like this in my Windsor and Newton uh, watercolors. 
similar but not the same I actually prefer this one okay so that's that and this is 215 ultramarine pink oh this one's sticky again if you're wondering why it's only because oh it's a shame because there's a lot of color coming out then these paints they have honey in them and the more honey in them the more sticky they are hmm. okay I'm gonna just clean this brush properly this time so start it's such a nice green oh my days okay I love it haha <laughs> this makes my soul happy Okay, so this is 231, 231 permanent green light. Okay. Tell me if you've ever experienced that. Uh, I need to find a way to, oh, hold on, maybe because I feel like it's such a waste of paint if it just stuck to the paper. So, I'm going to try and do, hopefully I won't spoil it, just warm it up a little bit. I'm hoping I'm not going to damage it. Okay, that's definitely helped. Okay, so this is Royal Blue. Let's see. Uh, maybe I had a little bit of paint on my paintbrush. Maybe. Actually, it will be a really nice sky color. Reminds me of cerulean, cerulean blue. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't know. Okay, two, two, four. A royal blue. That's that. No, oh, no, that's okay. Lovely. Let's clean this brush. I think it's okay. Lavender. Basically, lavender. Oh, very nice opaque color. Let's see what happens if I add a little bit of water. Oh, look. It's actually granulating quite nicely as well. Okay, we like it. So this is 227. Lavender. Nice. Okay, let's put that on. Nice. Oh, very nice. I think this one is slightly stronger than the other one I have, the Monte Amiata, which is cool. And this is 256. Called Blue Ridge Burnt Sienna. Blue. Orange burnt sienna. So that's exciting. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Oh, he's so hot too, get there. Oh no, is that one of those really hard colors that you can't actually get on your... Am I doing something wrong? This is not doing anything. Oh no. What is wrong with you? Let me try and poke it. Oh, okay. What is wrong with that? Seems like there's like a, a film on top. Okay, nice one, Hannah. Got a new color and strange. Maybe it just needs to be left to be soaked. But I kind of have a feeling that it's going to be like that Ben Siena Monte Amiata as well. It's going to be quite hard to keep the pigment on the brush. No, it's not doing anything. Oh no, I'm not happy about that. Look at that. It's literally not doing anything. No. Why do you have to disappoint me like that? Okay, that's better. So basically, it is like a film. I need to get rid of that film first. I think I'm gonna poke it, poke it, poke it until it comes off. And then hopefully it will work. Maybe it just needs to be soaked with water a little bit. Okay, so it is picking up the color. It just, I think it just needs to be soaked. It's quite dry. It's actually quite a nice color. I'm just not impressed about the fact that it is so hard to get the pigment from the pan. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. I don't use black that often anyway, but it's just a shame that my first experience with this color is a little bit negative. Anyway, so this is 247 Aquarius Black. Actually, this color is, is nice. It's going to be a granulating by the looks of it. Let me just dry it quickly. Oh my days. Okay, so these are my new guys. They need to go in my palette. So for now, these are the swatches. When my palette arrives, I think I'm gonna come back here and record it really quickly. Um, maybe clean my palette as well. I think it will be useful. Uh, how do I do this? Okay, my flippy flap. Swatch card is done. I I like my new colors. I think this, out of all the new ones that I have, I think I mean I love all of them, but I think this, 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 and this are my favorite. I'm okay with the ultramarine pink. And the royal blue and the aquarius black is my least favorite just because it was so hard to get it out from the pan but yeah i like them i like bright colors so this i'm excited about trying those okay i will be back when my new palette arrives so we can put all of these colors inside and then crack on with some painting maybe Okay, so my palette is here. Let's just open it up. It came quite late, so. But this is what it is, so I'm just going to remove all of those. Just 
so here's my current one let's move those colors over to the new palette Let's see how they look in the palette. Okay, so I think I'm quite happy with my palette setup. This can go in here now. Okay, I need to put something here so they don't move around. So yes, this is my palette. These are the my Roman Schmal colors. Look at that violet, isn't it beautiful? Love this. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. Thank you for sticking around for such a long time. It was one of my longest videos, but I hope swatching these colors was useful to some of you. Maybe you're considering getting those paints and I highly recommend them, except this color, Aquarius Black. I don't know if just my color was just dodgy or is it with every single one of them. But yeah, maybe don't get the Aquarius black. Anyway, thank you very much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.